yeah, telling stories together is something that's deeply human. You know, if you go back, if you saw what humans did 10,000 years ago, they're doing something that wouldn't be all that different from D&D. They were probably sitting around a fire sharing stories, telling stories they actually did, but they might be making up stories if they got in the realm of fantasy. Um, you know, I think that humans are imaginative and, and there's a reason why we keep making stories and telling them. So how great is it to tell that story together and have it have you affect each other's story and have that kind of immersion where you really feel like you are this other character. And even when the game's not happening, you can think a bit about, okay, what am I going to do next time? Or I'm going to reflect on the decisions that I've made before. Um, that's something that can occupy you. So not just the few hours that you're playing every week or two, but in between you can work on your character or do chats with people or when you meet for coffee. Coffee, you know, you might make friends and you can talk about the last game. So it really can spill outside of the game itself. Um, and that kind of collaboration is something that's really rare. Uh, I, I'm very much into also just what can we do as humans that exercise our sense of ambition and creativity and exploration without it being material. I think humans should not to get on my soapbox too much, but I think humans need to dematerialize in order to not destroy the planet. We need to figure out how to harness all of our human tendencies into realms that are not about getting physical things and digging holes in things and building things and burning things and traveling all over the place physically. How can we entertain each other with things like what's happening in video games or tabletop games or storytelling where we have a whole bunch of fun spending an entire evening where we're not needing to physically build and tear down things. We are doing it all in our minds, but it still feels very entertaining. How can we channel human ambition into like, what I really want to do is get a level 20, you know, wizard. Not like what I really want to do is build build a mansion, you know, on this particular beach and then take my jet ski out all day. You know, uh, how, how do I have different ambitions as a human? Um, I think that's also something that uh, that motivates me, kind of keep, keeps me going. Uh, the, the One of the things I want to do to make the world a better place is getting people to play D&D for social connection but also to get people to dematerialize somewhat more and question like do you really need uh to distract yourself with all that stuff sometimes all you need is each other and a good story